Hello everyone, welcome to A+. Today I'm going to talk about the model that health psychology uses to study health and illness. This model is the biopsychosocial model. The biopsychosocial model was developed by George L. Engel in 1977. This model integrates the psychological, the psycho, and the biomental, the social, into the traditional biomedical model of health. In the biopsychosocial model, the biofactors include genetics, viruses, bacteria, and structural defects. The psycho aspects of health and illness are described in terms of cognitions. What type of expectations of health does the patient have? Emotions. Does the patient have fear for treatment? And behaviors like smoking, diet, exercise, or alcohol consumption. The social aspects of health are described in terms of social norms of behavior. For example, the social norm of smoking or not smoking. Pressures to change behavior. This could be from peer group's expectations, parental pressure, social values on health, whether health is regarded as good or a bad thing, social class and ethnicity. Health psychology emphasizes health and illness as being on a continuum and explores the ways in which psychological factors impact health at all stages. Therefore, psychology is involved in illness from the beginning, like beliefs and behaviors, in I smoking while I'm sick, in I'm eating healthy, health seeking, like symptom perception, illness conditions, do I understand what's going on with me? doctor-patient communication, did I trust my doctor, illness adaptation, what coping strategies am I going to use while I'm sick, behavior change, am I sleeping enough, social support, did I have any family, friend or neighbor that I can see for support, pain perception, can I handle the pain or would I need any pain relievers, illness progression, has the illness became more stressful, behavior change, have my behavior changed for good or bad, and health outcomes, like quality of life and longevity. Health psychologists state that there is a direct and indirect pathway between psychology and health. The direct pathway is reflected in the physiological literature and is illustrated by research exploring the impact of stress on illnesses, such as coronary heart disease and cancer. From this perspective, the way a person experiences their life, I am feeling stress, has a direct impact upon their body, which can change their health status. The indirect pathway is reflected more in the behavioral literature and is illustrated by research exploring smoking, diet, exercise, and sexual behavior. From this perspective, the way a person thinks I am feeling stress influences their behavior. I have a cigarette, which in turn can impact upon their health. Health and illness vary along a number of domains, including geographical location, time, social class, and gender. Health psychology explores this viability with a focus on their role of behavior. However, there is also viability between people and this is also the focus of health psychology. For example, two people might both know that smoking is bad for them, but only one starts smoking. Similarly, two people might find a lump in their breast, but only one goes to the doctor. This variability indicates that health and illness can not only be explained by illness severity or knowledge, but that other factors must have a key role to play. For health psychologists, these factors are central to the discipline and include a wide range of psychological variables, such as cognitions, emotions, expectations, learning, peer pressure, social norms, coping, and social support. Thank you for watching. If you like what you watch, please like and share, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!